And one day I came to that point that from that point I was not coming back. I was not able to go back. And that point was a moment of clarity. I had a thought about Hashem. I was thinking about a certain issue about faith. And I was walking in a certain road in the army base where I was a soldier in the IDF. And while I was walking and thinking that thought, a random person that I haven't spoke with about that question before told me, hey, Dro, do you know so-and-so? And he answered my question. Like the question that was bubbling my mind, bubbling my mind, was was in the front of my awareness in that moment. Like I was so busy in that thought, it was occupying me in, in 100%. And then a person just looked at me, called me and told me the answer to my question. And I looked at him and I knew in that moment, I knew that the maker of the universe, the one that I was thinking about, he hears my thoughts, he's inside of my mind. And he controls the world in perfection. And he just provided an answer to me because he cares for me. He wants me to be answered. He wants to answer me. And he's using the world for that. And all the world is under his hand. I just stopped my walk in that moment. And I knew that from this moment and on, I won't be the same person. And to tell you, probably it was so strong when I look back. My wife, many times she asked me in this lifetime, what is holding you on? Like, how are you? What gives you the strength? Like, how are you holding on? And the answer is simple. Things I saw, things I felt, no one can take them from me. I, like, that's who I am. I am my process of growth. I am my, my expanding knowledge. That's who I am. So I cannot go back. I cannot forget what I know where I developed to. And for you to know that is also the essence of the complete redemption. Because what is this world? And what is the redemption about? The future to come and all of us waking up and Hashem reveals himself and wake up the Messiah to redeem us all and to unite the nation of Israel from four wings of the universe, the millions, hundreds of millions of people to, to come back to truth. And to become one unit as one person with one heart. And all the great changes of the world for darkness and evil and bad to disappear. All kinds of, of darkness to, 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 to vanish from the world. And only goodness to grow and prosper and, and, and shine in great lights that were never seen before. What's, how, what it's all about. Is it about the power of Hashem, that Hashem is controlling the world? It's about the righteousness and holiness of the people of Israel. What it's all about. My answer, based on my personal life experience, is that it's all based on truth. Hashem is close to everyone, to everyone who calls Him with truth. When you call Hashem with truth, then you're close to Him. Jewish or not Jewish, a man or a woman, a free person or a slave, a child or an adult, very knowledgeable or totally ignorant but naive, simple to say the truth. When you said the truth, that's it. The blessing of Hashem is already surrounding you in full power, already pumping knowledge to your heart already opening paths and lanes for you. The search for the truth.